Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about something called the principle of superposition. It's actually a very simple principle, but sometimes very wildly misunderstood. Essentially is this. Let's say we have multiple charges and we want to know what the electric field is at some point in the vicinity. Well, notice that at this location right here, we have an electric field associated with the first charge, an electric field associated with the second charge, and an electric field associated with the third charge. And I didn't put a three there, so let me go ahead and put the three there. And notice, if we now do a vector sum of those three electric fields, we get the summation of all the electric fields. That will be the total electric field. So the electric field of multiple charges is simply the vector sum of the individual electric fields of each of the individual charges. The same with the Coulomb force. If we take a small test charge and we place it in the vicinity, and let's say that's a little plus test charge right there, and we place it in the vicinity of other charges like this, notice that in each case a test charge will experience a force caused by each of these three charges. See that they have different directions, different magnitudes, depending upon the strength, the, the distance, and the size of these charges. But again, notice that the total force experienced by the test charge is simply equal to the vector sum of the individual forces associated with each of the three charges. So notice it's the vector sum of the electric fields and vector sum of the Coulomb forces. Finally, let's say we have a variety of charges and we want to know the potential at some location nearby those charges. Now you can see that again we're going to add up the potentials of each caused by each of the individual charges but what's different here that it's not a vector sum it's a scalar sum direction doesn't matter we simply add the magnitude of the potential caused by this charge, the potential caused by this charge, the potential caused by this charge, and we do not worry about the direction like we have to for the electric field and the Coulomb forces. But this is what we uh, experience, or this is what we mean by the principal superposition, how we simply add the contribution of each individual charge in the case of the electric field, in the case of the Coulomb forces, we do that vectorially, or in the case of the potential, we do that using scalar addition. And that is what we mean by the principle of superposition.